A pleasant good day to all of you. Today, we are here to discuss our practice venture master number 4, which is entitled Jeep Pinoy by the Planeur Incorporation. So, a technology business called Jeep Pinoy owns by a company named Planeur. It provides an Egypt application that allows users to track their Egypts, check how many seats are available, and determine how many Egypts are present at a specified location. The application will also create a premium offers wherein the customers can secure their seats. So our vision here in Planeur are devoted to provide an affordable tracking app with a high quality system that will benefit and satisfy the customer. It is an organization where an employee can develop, grow, achieve, and something significant. So our mission here in Planeur is to aim to be one of the leading company in the industry that provides the best customer's experience and a great place to grow for employees and organization that provide a convenience to the customers. The logo's figure is inspired by the real service of the company which is an Egypt application. The logo has different meaning regarding its color and its object design. The color blue, red, and light yellow symbolize the Philippine flag. On the other hand, in the jeep in the middle represents the country and pride of the Philippines. On the upper part of the jeep, it has the company's tagline. In the middle, it is when the company started. The logo is simple yet attractive because the company wants to ensure that whatever product the company offers will still a reminder of the country. Now, let me introduce to you our team composition, starting off by yours truly, Gianna May and Martin, the CEO of the company. Next, we have Mary Wills Mariano, the CFO of the company. Next, we have Sharina Trinidad, the CEO of the company. Next, we have Lacey Wenzistel, the CTO of the company. And last but not the least, we have Lexi Ann Bacon, the CMO of the company. Our society continues to suffer transportation issues, particularly when it comes to getting to work, school, and home. That's why one of our study's motives is to respond to technological advancements and provide commuters with an option by reserving public transportation. Most of them flock to the Egypt stations to enjoy a comfortable trip. As a result, the company come up with an application for Egypt as it recognized that there is an issue to be solved in this type of conduct. For our market opportunity analysis, we have the potential market opportunity which composed of all the communities in Metro Manila, the total addressable market which composed of all the students and workers that commute in Metro Manila, the segmented addressable market are the students and workers with low to lower middle income that commute in Metro Manila, lastly is the expected share of the addressable market which are the students and workers with a low to lower middle income that commute in Metro Manila by using Egypt's. Next, as the survey results, there are 83.1 who are using Egypt. On the other hand, 72.9% of them says they are having a problem with this type of transportation. In total, we have 71 who answer our survey. There are 55 of them says that they are agree in solving this kind of problem and there were and there were 16 says that they have already solved the problem by using alternative transportation. Companies ideal customers are commuters experiencing difficulties in commuting, who spend too much time commuting, who are being unproductive and are waiting too much for the arrival of Egypt, like students, workers, and even self-employed, who is 15 to 45 years old and above residing in Metro Manila, who wants a convenient and safety transportation, who wants to know the next ride of Egypt, who wants to save time and be productive, and who wants to identify the time of arrival and number of Egypts available. To address the problems encountered by commuters, we provide an Egypt application called GPNOI. It is the first ever public transportation application that allows users to book and reserve their seats. It is an application that shows how many Egypt are present at a specified location. Users can also check how many seats are still available and determine the time of arrival and departure of the Egypt. 
The customer is addressing the problem today by booking private transportation like Angkas, Joyride, and Grab. Unfortunately, it is more expensive than the application we offer. Our solution will make the customer's life better as they will not be waiting a long ride just to get a ride. It will provide them convenience and they can be more productive as they can maximize their time. Rather than waiting, they can spend their time on any important activities. It also impacts the good health and well-being of the customers as it provides solutions to their problems and lessen their stress and their productiveness that will improve their health. Next, here is our business model. In our value proposition, we tell you that we are adapting on the advancement of technology by offering our consumers an application where they can check the availabilities of e-chips around their areas, track those e-chips, and book a seat in that specific e-chips that they have chosen. Our consumers would be low-income to middle-income students and workers that commutes here in Metro Manila through e-chips. For these consumers, we will be making emotionally appealing advertisements, easy to use product design, and of course, we will also listen to their inquiries and feedbacks. So, how would we make this possible? In our key partners, we will be partnering up with different Egypt corporations like Metro Comet, Jeepco, and we will be using different channels to make our application more known like internet advertising, outdoor signages, word of mouth, and more. For our key activities, we will be doing mobile application development and research and constant inspection and upgrades on our application. Our key resources would be our brand, our capital, IT specialist and programmer along with the materials for the app development, and other employees like customer service. Now, in our cost structure, we have our startup costs and our monthly expenses. In our startup costs, we have 221,355 pesos. And for our monthly expenses, we have our fixed cost, which would be 41,459 pesos. And for the variable costs, it would be 53,500 pesos, which in total would be 94,959 pesos. And lastly, for our revenue structure, we have our approximate lifetime value, which would be 84,800 pesos. Our revenue would be 260,000 pesos. For the first month, we will be earning 40,495 pesos. And our gross margin would be 181,041 pesos. When your incorporation identified that there is no current solution that is similar to the company's offer, therefore, its primary advantage is that the company provides something unique to the market. The firm intends to offer its clients with a product at a reasonable cost. This will help the company to implement more successfully and may be leading to improved sales and profit margin. Next is our strategy canvas, which will highlight the uniqueness of our product for our competitors. The first one is that our minimum transportation fee is zero fifty pesos. Next is the it is a booking for public transportation and has a real time information where in commuters check the time of arrivals and departure of an agent. Also, they can also track by the map provided of the application, which the company assures to give the right information to the users. Lastly, is that consumers can choose a seat for them to make more comfortable for everybody. So now, let's take a look at our application prototype and followed by the website.
Now, here is our financial plan. So first, let's do our costs. Let's start with our startup cost, which is 221,355 pesos. It consists of equipment costs for our computer, 60,000 pesos. App development costs for the making of the application, it is 13,000 pesos. App publishing fees, which is for Play Store and App Store already, it is 1,850 pesos. Customer acquisition costs 60,000 pesos, 5,000 pesos for hosting costs, 32,505 for consultant fees. Business registration is 9,000 pesos. And each partnership, um, we're planning to give 25,000 each. And we will be partnering with two, um, each corporation first. So it would be 50,000 pesos in total. So the total of startup cost would be 221,355 pesos. Next is our fixed cost for a month. We have salary of IT specialist, which is one employee only, um, 25,000 pesos. One employee, again, for customer service, the salary of that would be 16,000 pesos. Electricity of um, customer service, which would be working for night time only would be 459 pesos so the total of fixed cost for a month is 41,459 pesos only so next would be our variable cost uh, for our electricity for our IT which would be working in longer hours it would be 1,000 pesos um, database 5,000 pesos 5,000 pesos for third party API as well and hosting costs um, for ads and promotions it would be 37 and 500 pesos so the total of variable costs would be 53,500 pesos so the total for our monthly operating expense would be 94,959 pesos now let's talk about the revenue to get that we need the number of customers per month per day we expect that there are 1,000 customers and there are on average 30 days per month. So the number of customers per month would be 30,000. If it's per customer purchase, we expect that they're going to use it once only. The price per unit would be 10 pesos. Purchase frequency during a month would be 1. Also, total sales in units would be 30,000. And the total sales revenue would be 300,000 pesos. So there we have it. Our monthly revenue would be 300,000 pesos. And the profit that we will be getting from that would be 205,041 pesos. If we're going to subtract the monthly operational costs from the monthly revenue. Lastly, we can see the break-even which is 5,043.67. And the payback period would be 1.08 months and the contribution margin would be 8.22.
for our marketing and sales for the commuters who want a convenient public transportation. Jeepinoy is an Egypt booking application where you can book your seats, track the Egypt, check the availability of the Egypt, and check the time of arrival and the departure. Jean May Martin, so she is our CEO or Chief Executive Officer. Her strength and ability are hardworking, communication, research-oriented, leader material, flexible, and hands-on. Next is Mary Rose Morano. She is our CFO or Chief Financial Officer. So her strength and ability are empathy, research-oriented, problem-solving, communication, and decision-making. Next is Desiree Wenceslao. So she is our CEO or Chief Technology Officer. So her strength and, our, and ability are integrity, research-oriented, trustworthy, dependable, hardworking, and flexible. Next one is Lexi Ann Bakoy. She is our CMO or Chief Marketing Officer. Her strength and ability is ambitious, communication, problem-solving, de dedication, and versatility. And the last one is Sharina Trinidad. She is our COO or Chief Operating Officer. So her strength and ability is determination, flexible, humility, and communication, and productivity. Our sustainable development goals are to support the sustainable cities and communities. Our product provides an affordable application that is accessible to everybody in which they can track and listen. It reduces the city's environmental impact as the company promotes the use of Egypt. The Egypt can lessen the air pollution caused by the traditional ships and other forms of transportation, not only air but also sound pollution. It also impacts the good health and well-being of the customers as it provides solutions to their problems and lessens their stress and, and unproductiveness that will, promote their, that will improve their health. Therefore, we will provide a product that is safe, affordable, and supports sustainable transportation. Once again, we are the Planure Incorporation. In Planure? In Planure? Here in Planure? In Planner, we, we always wonder with the plan. plan.